All right, Carol, there's no way that we can uh, end this special without first talking about the delicious food. So here's a quick fun fact about one Cuban dish. Did you know that the Cuban sandwich was not created in Cuba? It's a Cuban-American sandwich that was created in Tampa and made popular <laughs> in Miami. Now, Who all knew? this talk about Cuban <laughs> food is making me hungry. Well, you are in luck, Charles, because Marta Bianchini is back once again from Cubanitas in downtown Milwaukee, and she has some popular Cuban dishes to share with us to make you even hungrier, Charles. <laughs> Marta, <laughs> take it away. <laughs> Charles, you've definitely done your homework, and here, <laughs> voila, there's that famous Cuban sandwich that wasn't or originated from Cuba, but enjoyed by so many Cubans and everybody else. It's the Ooh. number one seller here at Cubanitas, followed by our mojito, um, and then our, the new introduction that we have right now is the Havana Bowls, and this is the Coco Loco Havana Bowl. They've, we have uh, five different bowls, and they're some of the most popular items on the new menu that we just introduced a couple of weeks ago. And then, of course, our plantain chips with our Cuban guacamole. And, uh, yeah, wash it all down with that mojito, and you're all set. It all looks di so delicious. Marta, can you tell us what is in that Havana bowl? That yeah, that's what I want about? to know, yes. So we've got um, the rice with the, with the tostones, which is from the plantains. We've got the coconut strip and a lime um, sauce that we drizzle, a lime pineapple sauce that we drizzle all over it. Uh, Marta, you must be, you talked about this, and I just think it speaks so much to who we are in Milwaukee, the culture that we have. But um, you seem really touched to know that your customers, your loyal customers, uh, had returned and we're looking forward and helping you through this tough times. Obviously the food brings them there, but it must be the, uh, the service and just the environment as well. I, I, it's the combination of everything and we're, um, we, we want people to come here, escape from what's going on in the world, even if it's just for a little bit, um, or even take it home and just forget about what's going on in the world just, just for a little bit. So, um, mi casa, su casa, that expression, um, we believe in that for the past 17 years, and, um, and we hope to see you muy, muy pronto. Well, you are doing a good job, and apparently people are getting the message. Marta, can you tell us, are you planning for next year's festival, and are, uh, what are you doing right now, perhaps, to get ready for it? Well, we hope to do it at Drexel Town Square probably in sometime in August. Um, it worked out really well there. Oak Creek um, really embraced us. And they have the infrastructure, infrastructure set up to do the festivals. So um, well, obviously everything is up in the air, a lot of unknowns, and we're hoping that by next year uh, well, we'll have, uh, we'll have some uh, better ideas of what's going on. Well, we'll have to check in with you and keep us updated yeah. on that. But uh, Marta, thank you very much for joining us today.